couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, welcome to another video in which I divulge a guitar secret, 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 secret. I'm gonna demonstrate and explain and show you how all of the basic guitar chords, E, A, D, D minor, A minor, E minor, G, C, F, are all the one and the same chord voicing. Voicing, that's the important word here. We're gonna begin with E and G. E and G. These are two different guitar chord voicings. E has one, five, one, three. Okay? Doesn't matter if you know theory or not. Uh, this is just very technical. We're gonna look at the guitar chord shapes. You don't need to know the notes. And G, which is arranged in one, three, five, one. Okay, so that's two different voicings. E and G. Okay? That's the first thing we need to know. Now, the second thing we need to know is the way that the guitar is tuned. The guitar is tuned in fourths, meaning that, again, you don't need to know the theory. Um, let's say we take the E major scale, okay? Then the fourth note is our next string. This is A, okay? And again, the next string, D, G. It's also true for strings one and two, E, but it's not true for strings two and three. Two and three are a third, okay? It's the third note of the G major scale. Why is that? Just very short, very concise, it's so you can play the guitar with four fingers and that you can play chords. Otherwise, the guitar would be uncomfortable to play and um, it wouldn't be as diverse as it is. The standard tuning is a pretty ingenious tuning. Now, having said that, um, the only difference in tuning is between strings two and three. So in order to make strings two and three a fourth, you need to compensate and play one on the second string and then it's a fourth. Okay, so the compensation is always on the second string. So if we take E and we take it up to A, we take it up a fourth, then we go down a string physically, but we need to compensate for the second string. So we raise one, two, two on the second string and we get A. Same thing for A and D. We take it down, down physically, up musically, up a fourth. We need to compensate on the second string. So two, two, three. And we get D. So E, A, and D are the same, the same chords, just up a fourth. Let's look at it like this. E, up a fourth to five exactly the same as this. Same chord. If we take A up a fourth to 10, we get this, D. See? So it's the same chord moving around in pitch. Same thing for G, C, and D. G, you take it down or up musically and you compensate on the second string. You take G down a string, you lose this finger here because there's no string below the E string, and you raise the second string by one fret. Same thing for F. You take it down, you raise the second string from zero to one, and you get F. So C, a G, C, and F, are all the same chord voicing going up in pitch. G, C, okay, so, and F. See, or we can take the C chord. Okay, we can take the C chord, up a fourth, and we get F. Same chord moving around in pitch. 
So that also applies for the minors, E minor. Take it down, compensate the second string, you get A minor. Take it down, compensate the second string from two to three, you get D minor. So that's what I mean by the same chord voicing moving around. It's all the same chord changing pitch, uh, the height of the sound. Uh, now, how do you connect all of it? A, if you take it two frets down, it's G. Okay, because A, A flat, G. That's just the next note below. And this, strings two, three, and four, are inside the G chord. So you see, this A, a, sh a shape, I mean, is inside this shape. And D is inside the C chord shape. Okay? But let's not go to bar chords. Let's take it down two frets. D, D flat, C. Okay, zero, one, zero. This is inside the C chord. See? So D is half of the C shape. And also F. F, one, one, two, three, is the high notes. It's the top of this, which is the E shape, upper fret, and you get one, one, two, three, which is F. So you see, E is F, G, is A, C is D. I mean in a purely technical manner, only in different pitches, different heights. So I hope you see what I'm trying to uh, demonstrate. And the way that it applies to playing is that if, for example, you have this chord. Okay, just uh, D sharp, sharp nine. And you want to find the chord a string down, you just take it down, compensate on the second string, and you get this. The same chord, a fourth up. You can, of course, do this. A fourth up, five frets up. But if you don't want to, and you want to impress people with your chord knowledge, you just take it down, compensate on the second string, and you have the same chord. See, so it applies to any chord whatsoever. It also applies to solos, but this is a lesson on chords. So that's another guitar secret uh, told and unsecreted. I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very, very much for watching.